Hello there, hola, and welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived here in the town for over 20 years, and my aim is to give you all a different and fresh take on all there is to see, do and enjoy in Benidorm and the surrounding areas. So here we go. People often say to me, what's the weather like in Benidorm in the autumn months? So today's vlog brings you a look at what the weather in the resort is actually like in the third week of October along our beautiful Levante beachfront. With daily temperatures of up to 28 degrees and an average of around 19 degrees at night, the climate is still warm and balmy and as you will see as you watch today's footage, which was all filmed on Sunday, October the 16th, people are still happily wandering about in t-shirts and shorts or in fact no shirts at all or just skimpy bikini tops. Many locals were enjoying a paseo or stroll on their weekend off and groups of holiday makers were enjoying the music, beers and fun at the adjacent bars of Cayman Beach and the infamous but ever popular Tiki Beach as we all realistically know it as. Lots of walkers, cyclists, roller skaters and people on scooters were zipping along the promenade and the water sports were still in full action with jet skis bumping away out on the waves and the parasailers flying serenely by overhead. The Jungle Bar, a favourite of one of my subscribers, still had spaces for those wishing to stop for a cocktail or bite to eat and the sun beat down on their back pleasantly as I filmed without any of the accompanying humidity that we've suffered all summer long. Some lovely tourists saw fit to give me a cheery wave here and there and the long established Spanish restaurants such as La Bahia and El Cacheril were doing a great trade in menus of the day, paellas and steaks. The Bulldog Beach British Bar was full of sunbathing Brits with many others choosing to take a rest on the many benches on the prom or overlooking the two kilometre long golden sands of the Levante Beach. There was still plenty of sunbathers, with the rink on Deloitte's end of the beach particularly full, with sun seekers having brought their own deck chairs and sunshades down to the water's edge with them. And the rows of blue sunbeds and parasols provided by the town hall are still laid out on a daily basis, ready to hire at a cost of six euros per item. It's still definitely warm enough to enjoy a cooling ice cream, as I spotted many people doing, from the many bars and kiosks on the front, or maybe a cold beer or frozen cocktail from haunts such as the Bikini Beach Bar or Artigas 2 or 3. All the water sports stands are still in operation as you will see towards the very end of the video and it really felt more like a lovely warm summer's day than the beginning of the winter season. I will now let you sit back and watch the rest of the video and please join me again in the future for more informative street walks news and updates and reviews on popular hotels, cafes and bars. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you out and about next time. Adios for now, I'm off for a paddle. Ciao!